and Christine, who is a veteran of christening first of class, has the honor to do it again. And Trish, it's her first time to christen a ship. So we have an experienced veteran and a novice, but both of them will accomplish a wonderful objective today, and that's bringing these great ships to life. Of course, the Ocean Wave has already been on the payroll, made money, completed the job successfully down in Cuba, so that's always the first test of a ship that's delivered is will it work and will it make money? So I know Tom is excited about that and having the second ship to join the fleet. This is two of four that we're building for Crowley and the excitement is that Tom's father built a whole class of tugboats at then McDermott Shipyard, which is now where these ships are building, which we call Bollinger Marine Fabricators. So it's twice that we have succeeded in replacing a class of ships that were built in one of our shipyards. We're building a replacement class for the island class cutters in Lockport that we built in the 80s, and now we're building the FRC to replace it. It's an exciting time in the shipbuilder's life when you get to replace a class of ships that you already built. This is the finest tugboats in the world, in my opinion. Crowley spent a tremendous amount of effort in designing the next generation of what's going to be the flagship. And actually, the next two are even more modern than these two, so they were improving the design as we were building. And Tom and his leadership team have all come together to celebrate the beginning of a new life in this ship class's history. And it just our pleasure to be a very large part of bringing this to reality. We're going to move on to the, uh, the christening ceremony, but I want to take a few moments just to, to kind of recap um, what's gone into these boats uh, from uh, from Crowley's perspective. Um, we've, we've had a, a large fleet, as Boise pointed out, uh, of Invader class tugs um, that uh, have been put to use over the years doing a, a broad variety of projects that I'm sure the original designers never imagined those boats would do. And when, uh, when we look at uh, reinvesting into, into new, uh, new assets, new vessels, um, we really have to look towards what we've learned from the past. Uh, the, the lessons learned, the, the jobs that we've done all over the world with those boats. And uh, what you're seeing here today is really, um, I, I think, a real step forward. We, um, each time we, we look at designing a vessel or looking at getting into a, another business, um, I, Part of it is really pushing, pushing the organization to become better. Uh, it's a, for us, it's a, it's a journey, whether it's our safety program, uh, whether it's the, the work that we're doing. And uh, I was very impressed. Uh, Paul, Paul is right. I think there's a very consistent um, quality when you, when you go on board our vessels and, and meet, meet the crew. And I think uh, it's, uh, it's especially rewarding for me to see the challenges that we put in front of them and the abilities that they have to come forward and really, I think, make things happen. These vessels are, as, as, as the men pointed out to me as we're walking through, are not, not even close to an invader class tug. There's so many more systems, there's so, so much more safety features and, and, and thought that's gone into these vessels that, that it's really uh, coming upon them to, to take all the thinking that's gone into the into a thing so far and uh, and put it to work and really create a, a quality product that our customer um, will value and uh, will will be able to provide a capability and service that, that hasn't existed before. Say that you have arrived as a family and as a business when people around the globe associate your product with your family name. There are quite a few American companies that have achieved that kind of recognition. Maybe it happens often in this country because of the freedoms that we enjoy here that are not inherent in other countries. America is more than a country. It's a people, it's a place, it's a dream where every citizen can have the right to his or her pursuit of happiness. 120 years ago, we know that in his wildest dreams, a young Thomas Crowley could never have imagined that the company he started would have evolved into the, one of the greatest American success stories. The Crowley family has created its own brand and is recognized around the world for the quality products and services that are uniquely theirs, Crowley. 
My grandfather, Donald Bollinger, started our company 66 years ago. He was a true entrepreneur who had a vision of creating a business to provide an income for his family, to provide opportunities and well-paying jobs for many people in his community, and to provide a needed service in a new and developing oil exploration industry in the Gulf of Mexico.